Good day to our thesis advisor and chairwoman, Engineer Helen Grace Garcia, and to the panelists, and also to the Dean of College of Technology, Dr. Alido Jean San Diego. I am Remy Cibuleros and would like to greet you all a pleasant day. We will be presenting our proposed study entitled Reverse Vending Machine for Polyethylene Therapeutic Plastic Bottles, together with my co researchers, Ms. Mabel Fernandez, Mr. Arvi Oraliza, Mr. Zimran Salvado, and Ms. Kathleen May on site. So, without further ado, let's proceed with the introduction. With the increasing amount of waste generated and limited landfill space for waste disposal, recycling is undoubtedly one of the important means to manage waste effectively. Millions of waste and useless materials are being compacted as garbage, having no proper waste disposal in the world every day. Even in most developed and industrial countries, only a small percentage is being subjected to the 3R mantra, reuse, reduce, and recycle. While the country has an 85-90% to 90 waste collection average rate in urban areas, it promised to less than 80% in rural areas. The autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao has collection rate of only 40%. Another contributor to the growing post-consumption plastic waste problem is the lack of a proper waste management infrastructure. The study highlighted care areas where plastics are leaked into the oceans, and this includes rural areas that do not have a proper waste collection method due to its low waste density, and high-density urban areas that are not able to cope with the influx of development. And for other information about the background rationale, here is Mr. Zimran B. Salvado. Thank you, Ms. Ria May Valeros. For the continuation of the background of the study, according to Alexander, plastic waste disposal has been a major problem all over the country. Lack of education about its proper disposition led to alarming discrepancies. Plastic seems inevitable since the 1960s. Our use of plastic has increased dramatically from 1% of the city's total solid waste to 13%. According to EPA data, only 8% of plastic is recovered through recycle. To overcome this problem, an automatic recycle bin was designed and installed in this article. We explain how RVM works. Reverse vending machine provides an alternative way to recycle plastic containers in an efficient, convenient, and encouraged way. Due to its simple process and positive intent to help the environment, the RVM purpose is to help reduce and recycle this waste. These offers include cashback in that way, the user can be more motivated to recycle as it is not only beneficial to the environment but also to themselves and reduce their work, saving time and energy and also motivating people. The aim of this study was to have a suitable method to develop a specialized machine for recycling plastic bottles, especially those made of PET Using this approach, we, the researcher, can try to promote the recycling of plastic bottles in a more practical way and ensure a system in which a consumers can benefit from the action. From there, we will be able to reconfigure our school waste management potential as a social practice through the installation of RVM. Statement of the problem The development of a reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottle is to be able to design and fabricate a machine that accepts empty PET bottles and reward the user by bending off equivalent amount of every bottle inserted. For the development of this study, we researcher addresses the following question. Number one, what design parameters should we consider to, to develop the reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles? Number two, what development and implementation strategy should we adapt to be utilized to ensure that the reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles? Number three, what evaluation parameters should we access in order to measure the performance and acceptability of the reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles? Objective of the study the main objective of this project is to be able to design and fabricate a machine that accepts empty PET. The following specific objectives should be met. 
Number one, to design a reverse vending machine that will be able to recognize if the material inserted is PET, plastic, or not. Number two, to develop a machine that will vend of equivalent amount after a successful transaction. Number three is to evaluate a reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles in terms of the following. A. Functionality. B. Accuracy. C. Cost effectiveness. Significance of the study. The study aimed to test whether the development of the RVM for plastic bottle alleviates problem in waste disposal and those promote recycling among the students of University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines. We researchers also believe that this study would be beneficial to the environment and future researchers. Furthermore, this study will be also important for the future researchers because this will serve as a reference for the related study. This study will also guide them in which they can adopt the methods that were used in this study. In this study, we researchers conduct a planning procedure, collecting more ideas, and planning on what materials are efficient to use. First, we undergo a research on the internet to know how the system functions and how it would benefit both students and public areas in which the system will be placed. To develop the system, we researchers are collecting data in the internet on what possible design will be done on the system and then gathered all the data collected and combined those electrical and electronic components into the system to be developed. The product of this project is a reverse vending machine and this is our conceptual flow that has an input determine all the possible materials and equipment to use collect all materials and equipments, gathering all the data of materials and equipments, a process, a design a RVM, applying a various procedure as guidelines, develop a prototype for the RVM, evaluate the RVM, and output, which is a reverse vending machine for PET plastic bottles. The following are the scope work to be done in this research study. The machine will be confined to accepting PET plastic bottle only with the transparency of 88.8% to 100% in weight up to 8.9 grams to 24.5 grams. The machine has a bin that can hold plastic bottles. The machine will be able to vend of money appropriate to the number of plastic bottles inserted in the machine. The machine will be able to determine when it reaches the maximum number of plastic bottles inserted. The current system has some limitation in terms of hardware and software. The laser diode and photosensitive sensor can determine PET plastic bottle by determining its transparency. However, it is unable to further differentiate the transparency of a material even if its PET plastic bottle of most of the bottle is covered with label or any material that would hinder the light to pass through the bottle. This is because the photosensitive sensor will only be able to receive a signal from a light source which is the laser diode. If the material is clear of any obstruction and not tempered in any way. Review of related literature. First is the local studies. Microcontroller based solar powered reverse vending machine. This project consists of a PIC16F84A microcontroller, two proximity sensor, and the solar power system. The microcontroller is programmed by activated by the two sensors simultaneously. Second is the automated reverse vending aluminum can crusher. This project was able to attain high level of confidence in achieving the set of parameters for accepting the rejecting aluminum can inserted. This device ensured only empty aluminum cans will be accepted by the machine. Third is the two-way 
powered microcontroller base plastic bottles drop on top reverse winding machine with stored value system using radio frequency identification scanner technology this project controlled by microcontroller this machine accepts bottles and credits disaster points which turn can be used to buy products the machine was able to run on either commercial power or solar power for the foreign studies here is miss kathleen me on site thank you rv and now we will proceed to the foreign studies first we have the development of reverse vending machine using a recycled materials and arduino microcontroller in the university saints malaysia they develop a vending machine the function of it is to separate different materials found in waste streams and minimizing the amount of goods sent to landfills. The other one is the accuracy of sorting beverage cans and bottles for a reverse vending machine. This machine is consists of many sensors used when receiving cans into the system and in the checking system. Weight sensor or load cell and infrared sensor consist the checking system. There are many main parts that work simultaneously such as conveyor, lead controller set for incoming and outgoing can lead, can pressing, and the hinge set for can classification. The other one, we also have the development of reverse vending machine framework for implementation to a standard recycle bin. In this study, the focus is on operating the BPU by considering two types of recycled bins, which are the plastic recycled bin and the other one, the paper recycled bin. Next is the research methodology to be discussed by Ms. Miguel Fernandez. Thank you, Ms. Kathleen Onsai. Chapter 3 is all about the research methodology. The main purpose of this study is to develop, fabricate, and test a machine that accepts plastic bottles, specifically those made of polyethylene terephthalate, and rewards the user after a successful transaction. So this is a reverse vending machine perspective design. It has an indicator lead, insert bottle slot, coin dispenser, reward button, and donate button. So this is the flow chart of our reverse vending machine. It is start, then insert bottle, the load so weights the bottle, the machine weights the bottle within the range of 8.9 gram to 24.5 gram. If the bottle does not meet the weight standard of the machine, the machine will automatically stop and then return the item. And if it meets the standard weight, the laser sensor determines the light intensity from the laser diode. And if the bottle is not transparent, the machine will stop and return the item. And if yes, the bottle will be dropped into the bin and counted. And after that, the system will calculate the reward and display it on the screen and ask the user whether to receive or donate the reward. If the user passes the yes, the machine will vend off equivalent reward, and if no, the thank you message will be displayed on the screen. That's all. Thank you. <laughs>